G'day, my name is Lance. I'm here from the Sydney Bee Club and uh, today we're going to show you a native beehive split. Uh, we'll be splitting up this Tetragonula carbonaria hive. So over here we have what's called an oath hive, it's O-A-T-H, and uh, it's just a basic box hive. And the reason we do that is so that we can split and make two hives out of it. So uh, I'll just show you some of the tools that we have, uh, what we need for the split. All we need is a knife, a hive tool to pry open the box, but if you don't have one of those you can probably use a sturdy knife. And we've got some tape on the straps and of course a new empty hive which we will put the split the native hive into. So we'll just go up and grab the, uh, the native hive, bring it down here so that you can all see, um, and then we'll do the split and happy days. So we've got here the hive, that one's been sitting there for well over a year since it was last split. We just take a knife to get in between the in between the two supers to try and uh, oh that one popped quite easily actually. So I've got my hive tool now. Okay. So there we have it. So that's all the brood, that's all the babies are inside there. And when I open up the next layer, you get to see inside the brood. And when we do the split, we'll leave that bit here with half the brood, and then the other half on the bottom half we'll take with us. And that way we'll have two hives. All right, so now we'll be um, opening this up and splitting it. Splitting up the brood chamber, that is. So first thing to do is very gently separate that top box. So there's our brood. Now we want at least sort of three or four layers in the top and three or four in the bottom. So by looking in there I can see there's a couple of bigger cells. And they, they could be the queen cells. And then in here we've got enough layers, it looks like. So that's the inside, that's the brood chamber. And some of those larger cells just on the edges, those I think would be the queen cells. What I'll do is I'll take the top half there, that gets placed onto the brood box. If this was full of these little pockets, they're called honey pots, these little round uh, bags, that's where they store their honey. If that, if that was full in that area, I would say we could harvest but, or rub, but uh, I think it's best if we just leave it for them. So now we put it all back together. I'll just add the lid to this side. Now to place this So as you can see you don't need any fancy tools you just need the right box to put them in There's other methods of splitting known as a soft split what we did today is known as a hard split So as you can see very easy and I hope you feel better about keeping some native bees and uh, increasing our biodiversity in Australia.